Hey Veg fam, it's your girl T here. I just thought I'd come at you with a, another video, kind of like a, a talk video. Let's talk while I eat my salad that is sunflower seeds, shredded cheese, shredded lettuce, and onions with Italian dressing. I measured out everything but the Italian dressing. I will put a screenshot right here of my fit, my fitness pal app where I logged in everything I've ate today so far and I went to the gym earlier with the baby daddy and we did a, a short brief workout I'm going back this evening to really get a good one in he um, had things to do so our workout this morning was cut very short but I wanted to come at you today and talk about I wouldn't necessarily say mental health as I would say anxiety. Um, my baby daddy asked me the other day to go out with him to do a filming. And it was a day before, it was like a Thursday. And I was like, oh, sure. Yes, I'll go tomorrow with you. That's not a problem. So when Friday night finally came and the closer it got to time, the more my anxiety really started to like kick in and sorry for the glare of my glasses I am actually running a group right now that I a group chat that I need to like keep track of but um I, the, the closer I got to town like I was saying the the more my anxiety kicked in like really bad now I'm on medicine for my anxiety but when I take it, I get real sleepy. It makes me really drowsy. So I try to not take it as much if I don't have to take it. Like if I know I'm not leaving the house, then that's not need to take it because I know I'm in the house. Um, in a controlled environment, I know what's going on. I call the shots of what's going on in my house. But anytime I know I'm going to be out for an extended period of time, I try to keep I keep what I do, keep it with me at all times, and I'll take it, and it'll calm me down. But after I get so much in my system, it'll really make me super tired. But um, so I know how others feel when they say that. Their anxiety gets bad when they go out in public and they can't do public events. And when I do, I just really, I shut down. I don't say much. I, I look mad, but I'm really not mad. It's just that I'm in an environment that I don't, I'm not aware of what's going on around me. Um, as a, I guess you'd say as a teenager, I, um, I wasn't much one of a child, of a teenager, not such a child. Well, yeah, but not being anyway. I wasn't one of that like to go out to the clubs or like to hang out. I mean, I would go to my friend's house, but, you know, it was like one of my friends lived like just a few doors down. Another one lived like, you know, across the street. You know, it wasn't very far and I wouldn't stay gone for very long. And so as, as an adult, I think my anxiety got really bad. And I pretty much just like stayed to myself. Now having a, a a child well when my little girl was little and um, I would tend to use my weight as an excuse not to really have to to attend an event with her I would kind of like put it off on her daddy to make him go you know to the event with her so I would I would try to always use my weight as excuse why I didn't want to be seen I didn't want to really make fun of her because I was fat no it wasn't it wasn't really that it was more that I had anxiety really bad. But being on the medication I'm on now for, like I said, it just really makes me tired and sleepy. And I can tell, like, I can witness that anxiety is not fun to deal with. It's not a fun problem to have. Um, we did Christmas, Thanksgiving, and New Year's here at my house. So I was fine because it was just like my mom, my dad, my uncle, my brother, 
my daughter, her boyfriend, the baby, and then the baby daddy, of course. And, um, did great, you know, because I was the one pretty much calling the shots. I had everybody put what they needed to be. The, the, you know, my daughter and her boyfriend pretty much stayed in my room. I had the baby, um, the baby, my baby daddy stayed in his computer room. I sat out here with the baby because her, all her stuff was out here with me when she's here with me. But um, I have to say, um, with anxiety, I see a doctor. I was seeing him every three months. Now I have to see him every three to four weeks. So basically, I see him every month now because we have to monitor it. Because there's times where I will panic at nighttime especially. And my baby daddy does not like it when I go through it. He'll try to catch it early if he can and try to get me to get in the bed when I'm calm. Because if we wait too long, then I'll start thinking like there's bugs in the bed and I'll have to get up and remake the bed. Or I have to make sure that we both took a shower. And I know that we're both clean, even though we were clean prior to this, that the confirmation of knowing that we both took a shower and we're both clean and the bed's clean. Or I'll just put all new bed covers on the bed. Um... My dog doesn't go outside. She's an inside dog. Um, so I don't have to worry about that. Once upon a time, she used to go outside, but she's so little now. She's so old that we don't let her go outside, so I don't have to worry about that. But I just really feel like I have to know what's going on. I have to, like, run the sweeper and I have to make the bed every morning, spray it down with disinfectant spray, just because I think that disinfectant spray kills bugs. <laughs> Please don't tell me no different because that's what I believe. But um, anxiety is really bad. It's not easy. Um, the side effect to my medication is weight gain. So, but so far, I've not really had to deal with that part of a side effect to the medication. Um, I've been on this medication for, I want to say about six years. I want to say about six years. Um, it's then been upped three times. So I think right now I'm at the max dose that they can give me. And not all the time does the max dose work. But I can say that mental illness, as far as that classification of it, it it's it's hard to fight. It's not easy. My baby daddy really gets aggravated with me because of that. Don't get me wrong. I can go in Walmart. Because I know I'm going to Walmart to get X, Y, and Z. And if I feel like a panic attack is coming on, then I know I can leave. I have the car key. I can just go. I don't have to check out. I don't have to get what I got. Or if I wanted to, I can just go ahead and check out and just go. And whatever I didn't get, I'll try another day. So, that's how that works when I go out. Like when I go to the gym, I um, try to go when it's not as crowded. I think I've said before in one of my videos that I don't like being in the gym when it's crowded. I thought the last time I went, there were like 10 people in there. That was a crowd to me. So, like I said, anxiety is not fun. My baby daddy's just now realizing that he, when we go, when we, he go do an event and I'm not with him, people ask, oh, I thought your wife was coming with you. And he said, no, she has real bad anxiety. He, for a while though, he wouldn't say that. He would say that I had to go deal with our daughter or I had to go, you know, do something. And I told him to stop lying because that's not the truth. I didn't have to go do anything. It's just that my anxiety got that bad that I decided to remove myself from the situation. So, yeah, he's just now really just starting to get the hang of what's going on with my anxiety. Um, I'm not going to keep this video long. I just wanted to come at you with part of mental health as far as the anxiety part of it. And how it is on my side. I don't know about for anybody else. But for me, it's not easy. Unless I can control what's going on. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to finish my salad and go get me some water because I am thirsty. 
and you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, comment, all those good things. All right, and I will see you on the next one. Much love.